Uh, yeah, we had one or two knocks um, after the Stoke game, um, but they're all cleared up now and everyone's ready to go, so, which is pleasing. Absolutely. Um, I know we, we talked before the Stoke game that you were saying it was a difficult place to go. When you look back at it, point is not a bad result in the room. Yeah, we, we obviously we're pleased that um, with the effort and commitment that the players have put in. I think the, the basis that we had the game Wednesday night as well, and then to go into that game um, playing against a you know a club that obviously has had ten years in the Premiership and still got Premier League players running it through it, to go there and um, and play the way we played and a little bit disappointed really second half in respect of the, the couple of great opportunities and chances that we had. I was going to say, you, you did have good chances. When you look ahead to the match this weekend against Wigan, you'll be hoping that the lads can take those. Yeah, we, we talked this week. I think we've had a lot of opportunities to create chances. And when we have created chances, I think they've been really good chances. I don't think they've been half chances. I think they've been really good chances. And I, I, I think that's, you know, that's what we've really, really, really got to shine up on, is make sure that you know, we are taking those those opportunities and those chances. And, and if we can do that, then we certainly will step up a level. Does it give you a little bit of food for, for thought ahead of the transfer window in January? No, I, th I, th I think even when the window closed a few months back, we were trying to get certain players in that we couldn't get in. And they were in certain positions that I think would have helped us now. So we, we, we've always recognised what we want to do. The problem we've had is doing it and, and getting it done and getting the players that we think would be uh, would 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 help be in the difference in those positions. When you look at, at, at Wigan, it's one of those, and I, I know you'll disagree with it, but it's one of those that on paper and, and the fans will certainly be expecting Middlesbrough to win. Yeah, you've got to accept that you know that's the way it is, and and you've got to go into every game. I think with the right attitude and the right approach, and we'll be respecting Wigan, and rightly so. They've had some great results this season. They've beaten um, some good sides. Um, got great respect for the people there. Um, you know, I don't know the manager uh, Paul as, as well as I know Reedy and and Big Joe. Um, but you know, the one thing is looking at them and looking at the games they've played. They're a very competitive side, very well organised. I don't think there's any team or any. any um, place you'll go, or, or even if they come to us, who are not physically strong, not well coached, and you know haven't got the tools in their armour to win a game of football at this level. And I think that uh, we've we've got to understand that and recognise recognise that. You've talked a lot about the fact that the championship is you know um, Saturday midweek, Saturday midweek. So in a in a sort of weird way, are you quite relieved that after Wigan you've got a, a week's sort of break? Well, it's two weeks break, but the players are away. I think we've got is it eleven players again away, and they play two games in those two weeks, um, and they're not playing on our soil. They're, you know, they're they're all over Europe, so that's the point really that uh, that kills you, is the fact that you can look at it and say, yeah, this will be a good break, um, but it's not a good break because they're often travelling, not only playing, but they're travelling as well. But you know, that's uh, you know, that's, we've got to contend with that. Sorry, I was a glance at the calendar wrong this morning. Um, it, it's that thing as well, I know you've spoken about it, the fact that you have so many international players away, it makes it difficult for you when it comes to doing stuff here. Yeah, you know, it's something that we have to live with. You know, it's not just Middlesbrough Football Club that uh, has to cope with that. that that's most clubs up and down the country now. And, and you know, the, as I said before, the Championship clubs, there's more players now playing international football, playing in the Championship than ever before. So it's not just our club, there's other clubs as well. It's great for the championship though that it's you know it's attracting players of international quality. Of course. What we've got to be careful of is that you know you don't because of the 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 uh, amount of games. I think we've played on Saturday that was twenty games. Or was it or twenty four games if you if you include the international games. You know, but when you're looking at it, that's you know, that's fourteen games away from a full season in the Premier League and we've only just got to, to November. So it's a hell of a lot of games for the players to play. Um, like I say, the 20 competitive games, 16 championship matches, four cup ties, and then the lads have played four international games as well on top of that. So 24 games in, what was it, August, September, October, November. Um, you know, it's th three months, just over three months. It's a lot of games. Absolutely. Um, 
Can I just ask you as well, the, the, the club this morning are, are planting a, a tree in, in remembrance for those who yeah. played for the club who lost their lives in World War One. Very poignant occasion. Yeah, I was very fortunate um, a few years ago to, uh, I actually went out um, and went around all the battlefields, First World War battlefields, um, and it was fantastic. I had three days, we had a guide that took us around, um, and we went to different places. Um, and the way you know they're remembered where they fell um, is absolutely fantastic. You know, the, the way the, uh, the Empire, and I mean the Empire, fought for, for, for world peace um, was extraordinary, and these people giving their lives. And if you read about the stories, it's very, very heartbreaking um, to think that these young kids, you know, what they did for this country, and 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 for world peace. So to commem commemorate, you know, these lads and that occasion, I think we should never, ever, ever, ever forget. And whatever we can do as a football club or as individuals, um, you know, I'm 110% behind it.